Yo, and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector. And as promised a few days ago, uh, when I got a new autograph for this collection, here is what I have for 2020, or sorry, 2012 Tops Five Star Autographs. These are all the Hall of Famers, and, and I have a couple of kind of surefire guys that are gonna get into the Hall of Fame that I'll include on this showcase just because they're awesome. And I'm still missing, I have 24 Hall of Famers, a couple of non-Hall of Famers, and then I'm still missing seven, and the seven I need are, are big ones. But uh, let's get into what, what I have, and then uh, we'll go through it. So this was the, back in 2012, this was one I bought then and just couldn't pass it up, and that's the Hank Aaron. Actually, I'll show two at a time, be better on the screen. You can see the design, relatively simplistic. You've got multiple tiers of numbering on these, um, all the way up to, you know, 200 something, I think is the most, like the Hank Aaron is 208. But then you've got smaller numbered ones, like the numbered to 62 Johnny Bench. You'll notice uh, with this Cabrera and the Cepeda that you've got two different colors. And so the blue background on the Cabrera symbolizes that he was an active player and the red is a retired player. So those are just uh, the distinguished, if they were active at the time. So there's a few more that are active, were active in 2012 that are now in the Hall of Fame. Cabrera, of course, is not yet, but will be as soon as he is eligible. And then Orlando Cepeda, you got uh, Andre Dawson. And again, you can see the different numberings uh, Again, 106 for Dawson, 208. It, it's a really weird numbering. 106 for Fisk. And we come down here, we got two awesome ones. Bob Gibson, Griffey's number to 62. So kind of the bigger names are, are number to 62. This is interesting, this will make a point. You can see on the left, the Reggie Jackson is actually only numbered to 15 but it looks different and that's because it's the foil version. And so they had a parallel of these autographs numbered much, much lower than the base autograph. And for me at the time, and even now, I just want an example of the five-star autograph, whether it's the regular or the foil, I don't really have a preference, but there are some guys that only collect the foil, like Bill, the Hall of Fame collector, but not me. I just want one of them. And the Reggie, I happen to get the foil one. You got Fergie, you got Chipper, Al Kaline, and then finishing it off with the rainbow foil of Clayton Kershaw. Will be a Hall of Famer, absolutely. Coming to row number three, Juan Marichal, Edgar Martinez, both numbered to 208. Joe Maurer, a foil of Paul Molitor, Two real tough ones here, Stan Musial, Frank Robinson, both numbered to 62. And then of course, the Nolan Ryan that I just got the other day, numbered to 62 as well. The final little group here is Ryan Sandberg, number to 106. Schmidt, number to 106. And then Smoltz, Williams, and finishing it off with Kari Ostromski, number to 62. So yeah, I like pulling out the different years and just showing them by year because <laughs> the design is obviously similar. You get this just cool look. So there are my 2012 Tops 5-star autographs. Hope everybody has a great day. Talk to you soon. Keep collecting.